This was written on February 21st, 2006. Uh, there's an important undercurrent that runs through all of these stories about me and gaming and my kids. Um, I'm a stepdad, and my, uh, my children uh, are, I've never made an emotional distinction between uh, like, you know, the, the like biological children I don't have and the stepchildren I do have. I have treated Ryan and Owen like, as they are my kids for as long as Ann and I uh, have, have been together. And,
because I remember um, just sort of how difficult it was for all of us back at that time. Uh, uh, you know, just trying to be a family. Um, with, you know, constantly having some, some uh, an outside force just kind of going, you can't be a family because I said so, crash, crash, crash. Um, and, uh, and that I was able to sort of create these worlds in games where uh, nothing else mattered was, uh, was really important to me. So when I talk about games being important to me, um, I, uh, I think I mean it more than I am able to, uh, to communicate. So this story is from 2006, uh, when they were both, uh, when Ryan was in high school and Nolan was in junior high school. And uh, fourth edition hadn't come out yet. Um, we had, I uh, was playing a little bit of third edition with some of my friends. Um, I uh, was still, uh, I think that we had, my friends and I had started a, a third edition game probably like three months before. We were still trying to resolve the grappling from our first combat. <laughs> And, and uh, I was questioning whether a group initiative was actually a good feat to have taken. Um, and uh, uh, I had talked to them a lot, talked to the kids a lot about how I wanted to like, play D&D with them. And uh, uh, it came up all, all the time. But it was one of those things that became so important to me, like give them a good D&D experience, that I was just, I sort of settled into the safety of not trying. Because I was afraid that I would play and I would be a bad DM. I kind of had a reputation when I was younger for uh, scoring a lot of TPKs. Uh, it's, it's not my fault you're all magic users with four hit points. Traps. I gave you all ten foot poles. What do you think they're for? If you get down that fifteen foot corridor in less than an hour, you're doing it wrong. So anyway, that's just a little background to this story, which actually isn't really about D&D, it's about much uh, But anyway, let's move. So, late in the afternoon, while I stood in front of the refrigerator and tried to talk myself into preparing dinner rather than ordering a pizza, because uh, uh, my wife was gone, I first inexplicably left that out of the introductory paragraph of this story. Like I said, these chat books, very ghetto, very lo-fi. <laughs> very not copy edited. Uh, the kids walked into the kitchen together. Hey, Will, Ryan said, can we play D&D? Yeah, no one said, you keep saying that we'll play, but we never do. <laughs> Guys, he said, you know, I, uh, I haven't had time to get together in adventure. Their shoulders slumped. But, I said, I have an idea that I think may be as much fun as D&D. I closed the refrigerator door and went to the phone door. <laughs> <laughs> Go to my big trunk of games and bring out a game called Munchkin. Hey. I ordered a large pizza and met them at the dining room table. Nolan held the box in his hands. Okay, I said, so, this is just like D&D. <laughs> without any of the annoying role play. <laughs> this is D&D the way I played it when I was here. <laughs> the thing is, I said, you can't take this game seriously. At all. Even a little bit. The whole point in Munchkin is to screw with each other and come up with really lame ways to beat each other up. Oh, I'm gonna like this, Ryan said. <laughs> I walked them through the rules and we started our first game. I desperately hoped that they would grok the game and wondered if they'd get into the spirit of Munchkin. A few hands in, when I was to about level four or five, I used up a few cards to defeat a level 10 floating nose. Uh, that's an ancient floating nose, Ryan said, tossing down the card and pumping it up to level 16. <laughs> so, Ryan gets much good. I played most of my remaining cards, and I said, okay, I defeat the floating nose. Ah, you sure did, Nolan said. Oh, but guess what? <laughs> he drew a card from his hand and slammed it down on the table. It has a mate. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, Nolan gets it too. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> I looked through my hand and I pulled out a plus two buckler of swashing worth 400. Okay, I bribe the flaming nose's mate and make a masterful escape. Oh, 
man, I'll get you next time. Alan said, he made a fist at me and shook it. I couldn't recall the last time I had so much fun with the two of them. During the second game, I asked Ryan to help me defeat a Pukachu, which Nolan had made humongous. What's in it for me, he said. Ha, ha, ha. 